movie fans, welcome to the show. Today we are going to be talking about trolls. These cute little dolls that were invented in 1959. Psych! We're going to be talking about the movie trolls. Trolls is the best, and my favorite part are all the fun and wacky characters. Now, these guys changed a lot during production, and some of the original designs were very different from the ones in the final movie. Let's check it out on what they got right with the trolls characters. Bobby Briggs, Major Cooper, love the dance all night. We're talking about trolls, this is what they got right. Now, I'm required by movie law to tell you that this episode has spoilers. So, if you have not seen trolls, what are you doing? Pause this video, go watch it, then come back and press play. First up, Biggie's pet worm, Mr. Dinkles. He went through a ton of changes before they settled on this adorable design. Mr. Dinkles is known for his little top hat, but in early sketches, he didn't just have a top hat, he had a full stuffy tuxedo. He lost that old fashioned tux because getting glitter out of cotton is expensive. Trust me. Stop getting glitter all over me. Branch can be seen in some early sketches with a fun red and yellow troll horse. But the horse got cut, probably because it couldn't fit in Branch's bunker. King Bristle Jr. is known for his casual yet classy look of pairing a royal cape with a striped tee. But in early sketches, he also was wearing a full tuxedo. I wonder if he and Mr. Dinkles bought their suits from the same store. And I wonder if that suit store closed down because no one wanted to keep their dusty old suits. Early concept art of Cooper had him looking exactly like a giraffe, just with a mailbag. But they decided to go with a trollier look that was a little less like something from the animal kingdom and more like something straight out of your imagination. Hmm, I wonder what my cat would look like with blue hair and a green hat. Oh, someone's definitely getting a makeover when I get home. In her first drawings, Bridget looked pretty different than in her final design. She had long tusks, six pigtails, and a really round nose. But lucky for her, they decided to go with a look that's a bit more cute and cuddly. And finally, Poppy, the singiest, danciest, trolliest troll of them all. She actually used to look a lot more like those old troll dolls than the versions you know from the film. And while she still had her signature pink hair, the big difference was that she didn't have any clothes. Ah, everybody look away. Okay, we can look now. Whew. It sure takes a lot of work and creativity to come up with characters this cool and get them just right. But thanks to the design team behind Trolls, we got a cast that's just so huggable. Poppy to the rescue! Thanks for watching What They Got Right. You know another thing the Trolls team got right? Their new show called Trolls The Beat Goes On. It's full of all the singing, dancing, and hugging you love. It's now streaming on Netflix, so make sure to click the link below to watch Poppy, Branch, and all your other favorite characters that we talked about in this episode in a whole new series of musical adventures. Then, leave a comment below letting me know what movie I should talk about next. Then, click up there to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every single day. Until next time. Ooh, this is my jam. Yeah. Thank you.